Hey, would you look at that? We got a planted tree. It's actually a Bartlett pear, if anyone was curious. And we've got a stake in there to help uh, train it up to be strong. Dwarf trees are recommended to have a support like that. I still need to tie it to it. A little bit of... I got some plastic tape that works and there's any number of methods to do that. It's no big deal. But two things I wanted to bring to your attention. When you're digging, it's really smart to put your spoils, or the soil that's coming out of the hole, into a wheelbarrow or at least on a tarp. That uh, makes it a lot easier to get it back in to fill the hole up, as opposed to having it on the ground where it gets, you know, mixed up with any of the grass and soil sitting around it. It's a much easier, cleaner process. And the other thing is to have a secondary tool. You can even use the, uh, the support post to lay it across the ground uh, um, like, like as this rake is. The purpose of that is to give you an estimate of where the ground level is so you can match up to your depth on that root. And it's just a little thing that makes it a little easier that I figured out. I'm sure plenty of other people have before me. But uh, hey, it's not the only way to plant a tree, but... It's how I did it, and it's done, except for supporting it with some tape. And I'm going to bring a load of mulch to cover this bare ground. And I might show you a little bit about the proper way to do that, but I'm not going to show you me loading the wheelbarrow and trucking it back here. So if you see that, that'll be the last part of the tree, and if not, hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It would really help me to keep going on these. I just lost a subscriber because of my... Silly little uh, Tide Pod rant, I guess. Someone thought I was dumb enough to actually do it without watching it or was offended that I thought that doing such stupid things were stupid. So, hey, you're Beardy Farmer, signing off.